Thank you, sir, for having us here. We, for everybody's sake, we love you, Mac. I think I told this story at Gals. If I did, I'm going to do it again. Thank you. But, um, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not sure if you can tell this. It's hard to tell, but I'm not from Minnesota. <laughs> uh, I'm actually from the deep south. Yeah. yeah. About 8,000 miles south, a place called Australia. And, uh, Woo! Thanks, Mum. <laughs> and the first time, one of the first times I came with the News Boys, um, in fact, it was the first time we came with the News Boys back in the day. I used to be a band called the News Boys. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> and the first time we came, we didn't know anybody, nobody knew who we were, nobody cared who we were. We were kind of one of them bands that live in a van down by the riverside. <laughs> and, uh, well, we had to, we wanted to come to the United States and we had to buy the cheapest airline tickets we could find. And so those airline tickets happened to leave Australia on Christmas morning, which is crazy. But, you know, we were young kids and of course leave the house on Christmas to go to a strange, crazy foreign country. <laughs> well, we did. And so we left Christmas morning and because of the time travel, you know, it takes, I think it was about, it's about a 14 hour flight. And because of the time zone, we flew for 14 hours and we landed in Los Angeles on Christmas morning. So there we were, Los Angeles airport, Christmas morning. My, my sister had given me this piece of paper that had a name and address on it, somebody who might be able to help us out, you know. And so I remember we got into this taxi cab. It was a freak out, man. You know, anyone been to Los Angeles? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's wild, trust me. And uh, so we get this taxi cab, give the piece of paper to the driver, and he, I remember he looked at it kind of strange and looked back at us and just began to drive. And he drives for like 40, 45 minutes, and he drops us off at a P.O. box. <laughs> People don't live at a P.O. box. And we found that out. And so there we were at this P.O. box, and I can remember this again really clearly. I remember looking over, and there was this small kind of apartment complex and uh, I just had just these doors and hey, we were desperate so I walked over and just began to knock on doors, you know, door number one, nobody, door number two, this was this morning, you know, door number three, no, I mean, I gotta be honest, I'm a realist, look at this face, you didn't open up the door either. <laughs> but door number five opened up, I'll never forget it was this young couple with two young kids and they had compassion on us, you know, felt sorry for these, uh, crazy looking foreigners and they invited us in and invited us in for Christmas with them. And, wow. Uh, wow. And it's America, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. So that was our, one of our first impressions of that. And uh, it's the America that I've grown to love and hopefully we can keep it that way. Yeah. And, um, but anyway, this next song has absolutely nothing to do with that story. <laughs> <laughs> but it is one of the first songs I wrote in the United States of America. Oh, I'd be sneaking around for a hoo in Chinese. Wish I never said, apologize, like we spread some kind of disease. I was saying, no way, no way.